Today, I'll be showing you guys the best jump shots in NBA 2K24. I'll be giving you jump shots for small guards, shooting guards, tall ISO guards, lockdowns, and shooting centers. Regardless of your build, height, or three-point rating, I'll have a jump shot for you in this video. Now, before we get into the jump shots, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It will help me out a lot. But other than that, let's get right into the jump shots. All right, now for the first jump shot that I'll be showing y'all, this is for the taller guards. I use this jump shot on my 6'6". The base of this jump shot is Tracy McGrady. The release one is Oscar Robertson. The release two is Kobe Bryant, and the blending is 75-25. The release cue that I use for this jump shot is mainly either release or push. It's mainly preference. You guys could try those out and let me know if you guys use other ones. Just drop it down below. This jump shot is very smooth and consistent. Um, This jump shot also gets off the ground a lot. So you can mainly shoot over your defender, especially if they do not have their hands up. On this player also, I green a lot of light leads and heavies on this player, especially with blinders. If you're a tall guard or a shooting guard, I highly suggest you guys try out this jump shot and let me know how you guys like it. Tracy McGrady is probably the best base in the game if you're a tall guard. If you're not using it, you're honestly missing out. If you guys happen to not like Tracy McGrady, you guys can always try Ben Shepard. I haven't used it since the beginning of the game. When I found out about Tracy McGrady, I just switched and never, honestly just never went back. But if you guys do not like Tracy McGrady, you guys can always try out Ben Shepard. I literally just made my center about like a week or a week and a half ago and I only been using two jump shots and this is the first one. Base JT Thor. The release one is Vince Carter. The release two is Sadiq Bey and this is 60-40 blending. For this jump shot you will need a 78 three pointer. You need to at least be 6'5 and under 6'10. The release cue that I use for this jump shot is release. Now the thing I could say about center jump shot it is definitely faster. If you guys are having trouble using this jump shot with release I highly suggest that you guys use set point i've been trying it out recently now what makes this jump shot really fast is the is the base jt door is a super fast base but it's also very easy to miss time definitely you guys should play around with the release cues and definitely get to know this jump shot down now this is the second jump shot that i've been using on my center recently for the past couple days the base of this jump shot is dyson daniels the release one is i don't really know how to pronounce his name but drew banks release two is kyle corver and the blending is 35-65. Now this jump shot I use set point release. It reminds me of like a guard jump shot. I don't know why I just like the look of it, but this is a very quick jump shot. Me personally, I like this jump shot more than the first one. Maybe you guys will too, but this jump shot right here is definitely chicken, y'all. Especially if you guys have your lethals and hot spots, you definitely got, you definitely should not be missing. This jump shot, you need a 78.3 as well. The release speed is an A and you have a B release height. If you guys cannot use set point, I highly suggest push. I don't really suggest release on a center unless that's, unless that's suitable for you. It's all preference at the end of the day. But me personally, I would use set point or push. This jump shot right here, y'all, this is on my lockdown my, my lockdown is 6'6 six, six. for this jump shot you would need an 81 three-pointer my lockdown has an 82 i honestly use this jump shot since i made them i haven't changed it since i've been using this jump shot since day one the base of the jump shot is jt thor the release one is oscar robertson the release two is jimmy butler and the blending is 70 30 i have not changed this jump shot since i put it on this jump shot right here i can shoot from the top of the key i can shoot from limitless i can shoot from the corner like this jump shot right here is really chicken y'all this jump shot gets an a plus release speed and an a height and an a minus is defensive immunity the release cue that i also use for this player is release or push i use release now but i started off with push i think i like release better but yeah this is for my lockdowns you know what i'm saying if y'all need help shooting in the corner or, or flaring up to the top of the key this is a jump shot for y'all it's very quick it's smooth and you guys will not miss now for my smaller guards i have two jump shots for you as well like i said before there's a jump shot base that looks just like tracy mcgrady but it's for smaller guards and the base is malcolm brogdon the release one is oscar robertson and the release two is damian lillard and it's a 70 30 blending for this jump shot you need an 89 three-pointer the release speed is an a and the release height is an a plus this jump shot definitely gets your my player off the ground a lot this jump shot you can also green a lot of contests as well because you're rising over your defender every time now compared to curry curry's a curry's a little bit faster when it comes to releasing it fast and when it, when it's time to like shoot quick stops and your peaks and stuff like that curry is definitely quicker when it comes to releasing it malcolm brogdon is more of a jump shot if you want to be more consistent on like your open shots and stuff like that it's definitely better when it comes to fading as well i like this jump shot so far i've been using it for like the past week and a half i haven't went back to curry since especially with all these patches that 2k has going on changing the release speeds and all that going on if you guys haven't tried it out yet, I definitely recommend if you're a small guard, definitely try Malcolm Brogdon base. This is the second jump shot that I had on my 6'2". This is before I switched over to Malcolm Brogdon. The base of this jump shot is Stephen Curry. The release one is Oscar Robertson. The release two is Damian Lillard. And the blending is 60-40. Now for this jump shot, you would need a 91 three-pointer. The release speed of this jump shot is also an A+, as you guys can see. The jump shot is super quick. 
especially when you shoot in crabs and peaks and stuff like that you will definitely get the shot off this jump shot is also smooth as well before i switched to malcolm brogdon this was definitely my jump shot i like this jump shot a lot it just when 2k patched all the jump shots and doing all this with the doing all the changing that they did with all the jump shot times and stuff like that i just went to a more consistent jump shot that i felt like was more consistent i use release shot visual cue with this one i haven't really tried any other visual cue besides release with this jump shot also compared to malcolm brogdon stephen curry also doesn't get your feet off the ground as much so you can't really shoot over your defender that's a little pro that i see in malcolm brogdon more than stephen curry now this jump shot is from my small shooting guard that i use in pro-am he's 6'3 so if you guys are a 6'3 or 6'4 this is a good jump shot as well it's malcolm brogdon in base release one Jalen Brunson release two Oscar Robertson and has a 60 40 blend for this jump shot all you need to do all you need to be is under 6-5 so if you guys like this jump shot rather than the other two I gave you for the small guard you could use this as well all you need is an 89 three-pointer the release speed of this jump shot is an A and the release height is an A this jump shot is also very quick it's smooth too I feel like this Malcolm Brogdon jump shot is faster than the other one I gave y'all but it's also preference like I said if you guys like this one quicker or whatever let me know down below another thing is I also use this player in the park two for like twos and stuff like that and on the twos I barely miss y'all I'm not even gonna lie bro on the two score the jump shot feels wonderful like I said the big thing about Malcolm Brogdon base is that you can get off the ground so much and that plays a huge part when it comes to greening shots especially when you fade with this jump shot on y'all y'all gonna love it very easy to time and with this jump shot i use release i literally use a different release cue on all my players if you guys want the best comp guard build the video on the screen right now is a banger you guys should definitely go check it out